Hey guys, welcome back with another video on our channel Learn with Gigs. In today's video, I will discuss with you few of the data warehouse concept based questions that are being frequently asked in Power BI interviews and one should know how to answer it to the interviewer. This is part 1. So let's start the video and before that if you are new to this channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all my videos. Okay. So this is the first question. What is the difference between OLTP and OLAP systems? OLTP means Online Transitional Processing Systems. OLAP means Analytical Processing Systems. So pause and think of the answer. Let's have the answer now. So OLTP and OLAP systems. So the first difference is it contains current data okay and the OLAP systems contains historical data so this is the main difference current data means uh, you can have up to one or two months of data but OLAP systems contains historical data okay so the second difference is it is useful in running the business and the OLAP systems it is useful in analyzing the business where the business is underperforming and where the business is overperforming so OLAP systems helps in that third difference is that it is based on entity relationship model okay whereas OLAP systems it is based on star snowflake and galaxy models okay and the last difference is database size ranges from 100 MB to 1 GB for OLTP systems for OLAP systems range from 100 GB to 1 TB and more so if you will mention these many differences in front of the interviewer then it will make a very good impact for your recruitment okay so let's move to the next question what is a data warehouse and can you tell few of its basic properties? Okay, so pause and think of the answer. If you already know, if you don't know, let's have the answer now. So it is the central location where consolidated data from multiple locations are stored. This is called a data warehouse. Now data warehouse is maintained separately from an organizational operational database. Operational database means real time data, where real time data is where real time data is stored but it is maintained separately from that okay so you can mention this also and property includes it is subject oriented subject oriented means that data is categorized and stored by business subject areas rather than by its application okay so this is called as subject oriented integrated integrated means data on a given subject is collected from different sources and stored in a single place so it is integrated Time variant, time variant means data is stored as a series of snapshots each representing a period of time. So this is called as time variant property of a data warehouse. And the last one is non-volatile. Non-volatile means typically the data in the data warehouse is not updated or deleted. Okay, so that means it is non-volatile. So these are some of the properties that you can mention while giving the answer of this question. Okay, so let's move to the next question. What is the data mart? Okay, pause and think of the answer. Let's have the answer now. So it is a smaller version of a data warehouse which deals with a single subject. Okay, data marts are focused on one particular area. Hence, they draw data from a limited number of sources as compared to the data warehouse. And the time taken to build them is very less compared to the time taken to build a data warehouse. That is obvious. Why? Because it's a smaller version. It is only specific to a particular subject right so these points you can mention while giving the answer for what is the data mart let's move to the next question what is metadata what do you mean by metadata pause and think of the answer let's have the answer now so it is defined as data about data metadata in a data warehouse defines the source data that is the kind of file it is a flat file or it is a relational database uh, database and other subjects metadata is used to define which table is source and target which concept is used to build the business logic called transformations to get the actual output so in this way you can answer this question uh, about metadata okay let's move to the next question can you differentiate between normalization and denormalization pause and think of the answer let's have the answer now so normalization is used to remove the redundant data from the database and stores non-redundant data and consistent data into it. So in this way you have to explain what is normalization. Whereas denormalization is used to combine multiple table data into one so that it can be queried fast 
it does not maintain any data integrity as compared to normalization part so this is a difference you can you can tell to the interviewer while giving the difference between normalization and denormalization so these were the few questions that i wanted to share with you through this video i will i will come up with few more questions in my next part so please stay tuned 